Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. It is well past my bedtime. But I'm still up. I'm still doing it. I'm still doing my commentary. I played several hours tonight. Um, no, I'm not drunk. That, that would explain why I would play this for several hours in a day. But, no. Uh, I got to an area that was way over my level. Crocodilopolis. Which is a, a really neat name for a place. And, uh, went into a naval fortress and just started taking everyone out. But every fucking guard that wasn't an archer in that place could, could withstand a stealth attack. So I was just... It was chaos. It was total chaos. But I, like, flawlessly pulled off all the objectives. Proved to myself that... I can pretty much jank the fuck out of this game. Like, there is no... There is no need to really employ any skill here. Anyway, we're gonna check out the pyramids, because pyramids are cool, man. You know... Things should pick up. There's big hype around the pyramids in this game. Welcome back. Coolest Gamers Let's Play of Assassin's Creed Origins. This is, uh, part... 52. We're on our way to take care of Kalaset, the hyena, the hygiena, which as it's known in Egyptian. But there are these pyramids in the way, and how could you pass up that, those Kodak moments there? Look at that. We're back in OG times when you could actually go underneath the pyramids. I mean, you hear those chimes and shit? Like, that's scary. There are, like, spirits in there. This is legit. We're gonna climb it. We're gonna climb a fucking pyramid. You see that pyramid there? We can climb it. Honestly, I, I, I tried climbing one of these in real life. I only got about halfway up. Didn't have as many handholds as they depict in this game. It's very unrealistic. But there were a certain number of handholds. At one point, I did have to run about 60 meters upward without any grip, so I, I'm, I am physically more capable than Bayek, that's for sure, but he's got the advantage of having more handholds. He can only, he can only run, like, what, five meters up? Something like that before he starts to slip down? And this thing is fucking massive. And to be fair, too, I only climbed one of the smaller pyramids, but... I mean, they didn't have any handholds on this one, so... You know, I can't... I can only run 60 meters up, I can't run this fucking far up. I mean, every man has his limitations. I really just wanted to get to the top of this thing. This is actually where I stopped to film my Stranger Things 2 review, was at the top of this pyramid. You guys should go check out that video. Uh, you know, hear my opinions. You're, you're not gonna like them, but you know, go and check it out. This brings me back, really. You know, this is like two weeks ago or something. Back when I had a big side project. I, I haven't had any big side projects recently, like big videos to plan. Thought that they would have very exciting footage. I can't seem to film fucking any images or anything. On this PS4. It's bullshit. The only thing I can do is get in-game footage and edit it. Not that I do that for Let's Plays, but... Oh, we made it! Hooray! No, no, there's nothing to it. There's nothing here. Got really annoyed at first. I didn't realize you're supposed to hold circle when you slide down. In order to skip the cracks. Ooh! We just saw into the fucking pyramid worlds. See, so yeah, if you don't hold circle, he'll just grab every handhold he passes. Trying to slide through him. Man, he's gotta get a fucking hell of a rug burn from that shit. I just, I literally just jump over them at this point.
pretty gnarly. What would you guys rather do? Climb a pyramid or fight a king cobra with a dull machete? <laughs> to be honest, I'd probably try climbing the fucking pyramid. I hate snakes. They can be aiming rifles at me and be like, yeah, we're gonna shoot you if you start to slip. And I'd be like, alright, better than fighting the Cobra. TBQH fam. TBQH them. What the fuck? I just watched the uh, eSports awards, watched the Dr. Disrespect acceptance speech when he was all fucking gin and tonic out of his mind. That was pretty funny. That guy is super inspiring to me. He reminds me a lot of Ethan Klein that he talks to and addresses people who are dealing with emotional issues and he really cares about his fans. Like He's like that mentor figure, you know? But I was watching some of the other nominees for the award, and they were showing brief clips. And it was just like people with normal personalities streaming, and I'm like, man, I would never subscribe to someone's Twitch channel, pay $4.99 a month or whatever, if they were just normal. Like, I don't know why that would be appealing to anyone. I thought I could break that shit. Like, the doc's where it's at. Like, there's no one but the doc. Because he actually puts on a show, like, that's what I fucking, that's why I'm in this, like, daddy club. Uh, I guess the entrance is on the other side. Really just wanted to see what the pyramids had to offer, so I was going to go into the first, the biggest one first. Um. So you guys will get to see what I've discovered. Whoa. Deep within the bowels of the pyramid. I actually thought that when you go into pyramids, you would be climbing up. And you would have, like, um, decreasing floor space on each floor. And then eventually you're in, like, the Grand Sarcophagus, which is, like, the top part. Uh, that would have been dope. But you actually go down in a pyramid. I didn't know this. It's as if the pyramid is just one giant tombstone. So there's our entrance point. Our ingress. Let's head in. Let's see what this shit has to offer. So, uh, we're gonna be doing some cave exploring next time, Timmy. See you there. Oh, 